Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll see how you can fetch previous row value in SQL using lag function. We'll also see how you can fetch previous row value in SQL without using lag function. In many of the interviews, the interviewer may ask candidates that can you fetch previous row value in SQL? Mostly the candidates quickly respond the lag function usage. Just to add twist to it, the interviewer may ask candidates, can you implement this solution without using the lag function? I see the candidates struggle to get the right answer. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see that how you can retrieve previous row value in SQL using lag function and without using lag function. So here I have a table category and I've listed three columns in it, category ID, category group, category name. As part of this tutorial, I want you to focus on category ID column. It's a sequential number column like one, two, three, and so on. And the requirement is that for each row, I'll identify what was the previous row value for category ID column. Hope the problem statement is clear to you. Let me start with it. First, we'll use the lag function. Whenever you are retrieving any previous or the next row, you have to understand that your data set should be sorted in some manner. So let's start with the lag function first. We'll use the lag of category ID for this column I want. And for any OLAP function, the over condition is kind of a mandatory. So you have to specify an order by condition mandatorily for any OLAP function. So in this case, let me do order by, by category ID itself. And that's it. So this is my previous category ID. Let me run this query and see the output. So here you see, I have the output. For one, there is no previous value. That's why this column has a value as null. This denotes that there was no previous value for this category ID. Similarly for six, the value is coming as five. It means the previous row value for this column was five, which is true. Similarly for 11, the value is 10. The previous row value is 10. So using lag function, you can very easily fetch the previous row value. The next question is how can we implement same without using the lag function in SQL? So say you are working on a database, which for some reason does not have the lag function or you are seeing very poor performance of the lag function and you want to try something else or it could be an interview situation where the interviewer has asked you that without using the lag function, how can you fetch the previous row value? So here also we'll use the OLAP function only, but not the lag one. You can use min or max here and everything will remain as is. You don't have to worry about the order by clause or anything else. You just have to add some additional information here. We'll add rows between and then we'll add one preceding and one preceding. Basically what this is doing is this is pointing to the previous row. Let me run the query and see the output. So here you see, right? We got the same record for one. There is no previous record. So the value is coming as null. For two, we have got one. For seven, we have got six. For 11, we have got 10, right? So you see here, without using the lag function, we are able to fetch the previous row value, right? By adding additional condition rows between one preceding and one preceding. I hope this is clear to you. If you are not clear or confident about rows between clause, I will recommend you to watch my previous video where I have explained how you can leverage rows between clause to create a window as per the requirement. If this is clear, I want to give a question to you. Can you fetch the next row value in the SQL using the lead function? And also, can you fetch the next row value in SQL without using the lead function? If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you very much.